Hey everybody, it is Alex and Matt again, back here at Powder 7 World Headquarters, and we are just chatting about a few more 88 underfoot skis. It's a popular category, so we're just putting a few popular models head to head, comparing them, chatting about the differences. Yeah, and we're getting pretty nitpicky. I doing, know. Doing these it's head getting to harder and harder the yeah, <laughs> more as we, we compare. Plan these, we have to really think back to every day we've spent on them yeah. and suss out some differences. So yeah. we're doing that, so hopefully it can help you make some buying choices if you're really stuck between two mm -hmm. skis or you can't find one in your price range or size what else should you look at yeah uh, so we've got two really exciting 88 waisted skis uh the stokely storm rider 88 swiss made and the blizzard barama they've both been around a while um it's the storm rider has undergone a few more changes in the last couple of years uh brahma's also had a few refinements uh, but overall they're both really stout and strong 88 waisted skis so whereas something another ski we've talked about in in um, this category is the enforcer 88 um, versus these two skis that one's got more rocker it's a little bit more accessible um, i would say both these skis err on the side of being a little bit more aggressive so what are the differences in that um, i think that one of the biggest things that i notice skiing these skis back to back uh, you can kind of observe looking at their shapes. So the uh, 88 Storm Rider has a little bit more side cut, uh, a little bit less here in the Brahma. Uh, Brahma down at your tails, neither ski has much rocker in the tail. They're both free ride rocker, but it's almost negligible when you put them uh, base to base on their tails. A um, little bit more taper here in the tails of the Brahma. I think, I always think of the Brahma as a really strong ski when I ski it. It's got two sheets of metal, uh, True Blend is a cocktail of different woods in the core. Uh, it's pretty stout woods they use in the Brahma, but it's a smooth skiing, very reliable, um, powerful and strong ski that is energetic uh, if you put energy into it. Um, you can slide it around um, if you need to, but again, it wants you to stay on it. It's a, it requires some athletic skiing. Um, Storm Rider also does, uh, but this extra side cut makes it a little bit more of a snappy, lively, energetic feeling ski to me. Um, and then actually the Storm Rider also has Stokely's uh, free ride tips. So the tails of the ski almost look laser-esque, right? Very squared off, very flat. Uh, the tips of these skis give you a little bit more um, forgiveness in bumps and soft snow. I actually think the 88 Storm Rider is my maybe my favorite bump ski I've ever been on because it feels really light and energetic um, while being very stout under your foot. So in a bump line, you wanna feel that planted uh, feel right under your feet where you can lock into your line and stay on it. Uh, but it's nice to have a little bit of forgiveness in your tips uh, to keep the ride smooth and keep you on course. Um, so that's really one of the biggest differences for me in these two, but what are your thoughts on them? Yeah, I agree. The biggest difference, and something I think that surprised me the most about the 88 is how light on your feet it feels. Yeah. You don't really expect that with how much metal's in it and knowing that it's a pretty stiff directional ski, but it actually feels quite light, easy, and quick. And I think that probably adds to that lively, snappy feel that you're talking about earlier. Just something that feels easy to get to respond. Um, so this one would probably feel a little better after a long day of skiing versus the brahma is going to start to wear on those quads throughout the day yeah so i think again if you're trying to f figure out which one's right for you you know to me if you spend a lot of time you're looking for an 88 but you spend a lot of time bumps front side stuff groomers um and you really you find a lot of enjoyment out of carving and bump runs mm -hmm. um hard to top 88 for that lively and energetic feel um, but if you're more of like a strong technical skier who's looking for an 88 to take all over the mountain, uh, maybe even some back bowls and some mm -hmm. trees, and you really like a strong, sturdy feel in your ski, um, Brahma. Brahma's got uh, your name on it. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, we hope that we've sussed out the minor differences between excellent it's, skis and yeah, to help you out it's tough they're both so good uh, yeah. but yeah if you are interested in seeing some more head-to-head -head comparisons feel free to smash that subscribe button down below and we'll have some more head-to-heads come in here your way as well as other gear reviews stuff on soft goods stuff on bindings fashion shows all that good stuff but we will see you soon hopefully